The following is a selected video from VideoMathTeacher.com, where you can explore over 10,000 videos, print out practice worksheets, find proofs and discussions on many math topics, and explore related videos. Try VideoMathTeacher.com today. Let's graph the quadric surface defined by the equation z equals 4 minus 4x squared minus y squared. To graph this quadric surface, we'll graph its representation in three separate traces. In other words, we'll graph the cross-section of our graph in the xy plane, in the yz plane, and in the xz plane. To begin, to graph our equation in the xy trace on the right, we'll let z equal 0. So in our equation, if we let z equal 0, then this would become the equation 0 equals 4 minus 4x squared minus y squared. Solving for this equation, we'll add a 4x squared and a y squared to both sides. So we get 4x squared plus y squared equals 4. And if we divide through by 4, we see that this is the equation that would match that of an ellipse. So the 4's would cancel, and we're left with the equation x squared plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, in the xy plane, this will be an ellipse. We see that the x-intercepts will be where x is positive 1 or negative 1, and the y-intercepts are where y would be positive 2 or negative 2. So drawing an ellipse in the xy plane, we will have this cross-section of our quadric surface. Therefore, in our graph to our left, if we were to graph this, in the blue xy plane, we'll go for the x-axis, one unit left and one unit right, and two units up and two units down for our surface. So we'll connect these to create a ellipse in the xy plane. Next, let's investigate the xz trace by letting y be zero in our equation. So if y equals zero, then z equals 4 minus 4x squared minus 0 squared, which would simplify to z equals 4 minus 4x squared. This, in this plane, for the xz trace, will be a parabola, where the vertex will be 4 units up, and it will be pointing down since a is negative. It will cross the x-axis at negative 2 and at positive 2, so we'll graph a parabola pointing downwards, looking like this. Therefore, in the xz plane, we'll go up 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4 units, and in the xz plane, it will cross here at this point, as well as here at this point. Next, let's investigate our yz trace by letting x be 0 in our quadric equation. So this would be z equals 4 minus 4 times 0 squared minus y squared. And so, simplifying, we get z equals 4 minus 4 times 0 squared is 0 squared is 0 times 4 is 0. So we really get just 4 minus y squared. This again is a parabola where the vertex will be 4 units up, but this time it's crossing the y-axis at positive 1 and negative 1. So this will be a slightly thinner parabola pointing downwards. So in our quadric surface graph, in the yz trace, or the yz plane, it will cross here at here and here. So we see that by extending our graph that this produces a three-dimensional paraboloid, or what's called an elliptic paraboloid pointing downwards. So this would be our graph, and by shading in the first octant, we get a representation of what this will look like. We can extend this graph by using software to find what this would look like. Here we've graphed the quadric surface and we do indeed see that this will be a paraboloid pointing downwards that along the xy plane that we see an ellipse that's formed and along the other two planes, both the xz and the yz planes, that we do see parabolas that are pointing downward. 
So this does confirm our graph that we've produced by hand. So this is a rough sketch of our quadric surface defined by the equation z equals 4 minus 4x squared minus y squared.